weekly package. And I've got a really important topic to cover. Chris Lopez with MLM Complete Package. And I've got a really important topic to cover. You see, on September 22nd, 2014, the FDA, or Food and Drug Administration, sent out a warning letter to doTERRA and a warning letter to Young Living about how they're marketing their products. Now, if you're not familiar with doTERRA and Young Living, they're both MLM companies that market essential oils. Now, to give you the Reader's Digest version of both these letters, basically the FDA is saying, hey, companies, your distributors are out there making product claims about how your products can cure, treat, or prevent different types of diseases. And that's a huge no-no when it comes to the way the laws are written in the United States. And so getting a warning letter from the FDA can have devastating ramifications for people's organizations. Now, I want to make, sure, want to make it clear that the FDA is not shutting these companies down. They're not saying you can no longer market these products. What they are saying is, hey, we're putting you on notice. This is your warning that you need to get your act together and start making sure that the way your sales force is out there marketing these products are within the, the laws of the United States. So what can happen here, and I've seen it happen over the years with different MLM companies when things like this has happened, is it takes a lot of belief out of people building the company. It takes momentum. It rocks the proverbial boat. Uh, I would not be surprised if some people's organizations fell apart due to this because it just has this ripple effect of, you know, a lot of people st uh, stop building or they start panicking, and all of a sudden just, you know, one turns into ten, turns into hundreds, turns into thousands, and there can be major issues here. So I hope that doesn't happen to people's organizations uh, in these MLM companies, and I hope this is a great wake-up call for the distributors in those two companies. And I hope it's a good wake-up call for other distributors out there in different network marketing companies who might be doing the same thing of making product claims. And so I'm actually at the warning letter to doTERRA, and I'm going to scroll to the bottom, and you'll see at the bottom that the FDA warning letter cites four names of doTERRA distributors. So... They're actually putting the names and email addresses and URLs of four doTERRA distributors who are making these claims. Now I'm looking at the Young Living FDA warning letter going to the bottom. And there's like eight or nine names down here at the bottom. And they've put the names of distributors, email addresses, and even the ID numbers of these people. And... So that's like 12 or 13 people between these two letters, and that's who the FDA is citing as is making their claims. They actually lay out the websites and the Twitter posts and the Facebook posts uh, and where they got it from about what the claims are being made. So I don't know the total numbers uh, or the total number of distributors in both these companies, but I know it's well into the tens of thousands between the two of them. And so these 12 or 13 people are the, are the ones that got singled out and are and they're, you know, on the FDA warning letter. Now, I know these weren't the only people out there making product claims because myself and Jason Wells have seen a stream of product claims last on a year or maybe a little bit more than a year on Facebook from distributors from both these companies talking about how it cures this, prevents this, does this. And Jason actually recorded a video uh, about six or seven months ago that was titled, Stop Making Product Claims in Your MLM Business Because the FDA Will Catch Up With You Sooner or Later. And while he didn't cite these two organizations or these two MLM companies in his video and blog post, they were... <laughs> Those companies were part of the reason he recorded that video because we saw so many people out there making these outrageous product claims. Now look, I'm not defending the FDA. I am frustrated with the way the laws are written in the United States. I don't like the way they're written when it comes to drugs and health and wellness products. I get annoyed, and probably the best word is I get pissed off when I see these 
ads on TV promoting the latest and greatest pharmaceutical drug uh, about how it cures this or does this. And then the last 30 seconds of a TV ad, they rattle off all those side effects. It's outrageous. You, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, and for those of you who don't know me, I'm actually a distributor of an MLM company uh, that does, uh, that's a nutritional company. They do most of their, most of their products are nutritional supplements. So I get frustrated because I feel like I have my hands tied a lot of the times in, in what I can say, because we all know that, hey, nutritional products and health wellness products can have some amazing impacts on people's lives. Yet, we kind of got our hands tied on how we can go about saying it. So I'm bringing all this to, a, to your attention, uh, not because I'm defending the FDA, but because you, as an MLM distributor, and all the distributors out there need to understand the rules and what's going on on the other side of the fence. Because if people keep going out there and making these claims, these, these drug claims or therapeutic claims with their, with their products, when it's against the law to, they're going to get themselves in trouble, they will get their network marketing company in trouble, and you're also turning off a lot of people uh, to MLM products and turning people off to these products in general. I'm sure you've talked with people who initially were interested in your product, and as you start getting into more detail, they found out it was done through the MLM distribution channel, and all of a sudden, they were no longer interested. There's a lot of people out there who um, are into health or into this stuff, but the second they find out a product is done, is distributed through MLM, they automatically disqualify from ever using it and buying it because they've heard so many people make outrageous claims over the years and say this and say that, that they have just lumped all the MLM products together in one, that they are overhyped sugar pills. So when people are out there, when distributors are out there, I should say, making claims like this, they are actually shrinking the pool of potential customers for all of us. Because I can tell you, you don't need to make claims. You don't need to make product claims about your product in order to get customers and to grow a successful organization. Like I said, I've been building my organization now. It'll be 11 years this November. Jason Wells and I have built an organization with thousands of distributors and thousands of customers, all without making these product claims. So I'm telling you this to let you know that, hey, you can do that too. You can still grow your business. You can still get customers. You can still help people improve their lives through their health while not risking of getting yourself in trouble and risking getting your network marketing company in trouble. Now, those 12 or 13 or 14 names at the bottom of those FDA warning letters, I, I feel sorry for them because, like I said, they, weren't, they were not the only distributors doing it, yet they were the ones who got singled out. They must feel horrible. Now, use, use their misfortune as an example and a wake-up call for you. If you're out there making product claims currently about your product, what if that was your name or one of your downline's name on the bottom of an FDA warning letter six months or a year from now? How would that make you feel? What would that do to your organization? What would that do to your belief in the company? Look, I don't want you to get your name on the bottom of an FDA letter. I don't want your company to get in trouble. I also don't want you to go out there continuing to make outrageous product claims if you are. Because in a roundabout way, you're hurting my organization. You're making it harder for me and my downline to go out there and build our business by getting customers.